Hello, this is Nathan and welcome to Door Fortress. In this video, we will be going over how to make a waterfall or like a mist generator in our main fortress area. Now for my fortress, it is designed to go straight down from the floor. There's a hallway that comes over and then this is the main stairwell for our fortress. So if you have a different setup, this guide might not be perfect for you, but I think you will get the general uh, general idea how to set it up. So essentially what's gonna happen is water is gonna be flowing through the middle here, all the way down. And as it's falling down, it creates mist. This mist will be giving uh, positive thoughts to our doors, which is a huge, huge gain. They love waterfalls. So let's let's get to it here. So the first thing I wanna do is go to my workshop, wherever that is. There we go. And we're gonna make some blocks. I'm gonna have to make some walls uh, for where our water is flowing. So I wanna get some blocks made. Blocks are faster to build with and to haul around than a single stone. We also want to create some grates because uh, we don't want our doors falling through these holes we're going to make, uh, only water. So let's do that. 10 should be enough. Um, we also need to make a wooden corkscrew. I think I'm only going to need like two at most, but this is for our screw pump, which extracts the water and uh, actually goes up a level with it. I'll show you guys when we do that. Um, what else do we need to make? Hmm, I think that's it. Oh, uh, mechanisms. Let's make some mechanisms. Uh, rock? Yes. 10 should be enough. There we go. So we're going to have them start doing that. In the meantime, let's start digging down here. We're going to dig a channel in the center of this main stairwell here. Now, I'm going to only do this one at a time. If I... If I make too many holes, uh, these holes down here could be made first and whoever's digging this channel will fall down and hurt themselves. I will also be ignoring anything that's going on over here. This video is just for how to make this waterfall happen. Um, I have a playthrough going on that involves uh, me playing this fortress as like a casual guide. So if that's something you're interested in, take a look. Um, it's been pretty fun doing it so far. Trying to see why nobody's digging. What is our... Oh, there we go. Just had to say something, I guess. Perfect. So we're going to do that. We're going to immediately do the next channel. Again, I don't want to do this all in a row. Because the other miner might... Create holes. And I don't want to do that. Okay. Is that downward slope? Yep. Oops, sorry about that. Okay. There we go. We're just going one by one. I don't want any accidents. And essentially we're gonna be digging a channel down to our lowest level here that we're not using. Yes, downward slope, yep, should be doing it, there we go. Only a good handful left. Come on, guys. Here, we'll do two. We'll do two at a time. They can fall kind of a ways and not get hurt. There we go. So this is the last level. So we're going to dig down. And that way the water pools up down here and not in our main area. Um, so perfect. So what we're going to do is actually create a 
So the water is going to fall down here and it needs to spread out so it doesn't come gushing back up here. So let's dig out um, what we're going to do. I think we're going to do something a little different here. I'm actually going to dig a different another channel. So we're going to go too deep. So they're going to be stuck down here um, because I don't think they can climb up when it's too deep like that. We're going to create a um, hole here. Should work. Oh, they did come out. Interesting. I wonder if they climbed out. I don't know if they can reach down there. Uh, but what we're going to do is create a side room so we can get down there. Um, let's go right here. Yeah, this should work fine. Take this out. So it's going to be a little access room to get down here. Sometimes you're going to have to do some maintenance with this water tunnel. Maybe you want to add some things with it. So having this access is a good idea. I'm also actually, now that I'm thinking about it, let's make some floodgates. I'm going to create three. Um, there we go. So he's doing that. Great. So let's do a work order to make floodgates. We're only going to need three. Okay. Perfect. All right. So they're digging this out finally. And we are actually going to remove this slope here. There we go. Okay. So the water is going to come here, but if we just leave it as is, this is going to fill up pretty fast. Um, so we need a way to get rid of the water. So the way I do it, which I think is the most simple, is digging this towards the end of the screen here or of the map. So we are actually going to, I'm going to make this three deep here. Three deep. <laughs> Essentially, oh, whoops. Essentially what the idea is, is when this water comes out, I need it to spread away from the hole as fast as possible. If I just leave one square here, it means everything is feeding off into one square. I don't want that. I need this to get away from um, the entrance here. And then we should be able to just, we're going to mine all the way to the end. Click. You're going to notice it goes one square back, which is fine. They're going to start digging that out. Uh, in the meantime, let's construct those grates. Uh, constructions, floor grate. Let's go all the way on top. And we're going to have to... Oh, wait. We don't... Mm, no access. That's fine. Floor grate. There we go. Oh. Guess we got to still make some more grates. That's okay. How many more does he need? Looks like three more. Hopefully that's enough. Is that blood? Oh no, some uh, some uh, leaves came down here because of the hole in the on top. Okay. So they've dug all the way to the right as they can to the end of the screen. What we're going to do is actually... I should have done this. We're going to make this three wide. Uh, that way there's three spots where the water can empty out. And then we're going to smooth the end here. And we smooth it so that we can create a fortification. So we got some doors coming down here. We're going to do a fortification. And this is going to create little holes in the wall. The water can get through this and it will empty out to the end of the map. So it'll disappear. Um, so that's looking good. Let's keep going with the floor grate here. Uh, construction. No access yet. Okay, that's fine. You must still be making them in between the... Uh, Bloodgate and the grade. Okay. Cool. All right. So we're making the blocks. So as we're doing that, not a problem. I actually going to make another grade. I don't know if we have enough. 
Uh, great. And great. Cool. Okay. So as that is going, let's build our pump. Uh, so we are going to, let's first get rid of this tree here. Because I just want a straight line. And actually, I'm thinking, hmm. See some, uh, looks like some trees. Yep, some of the lumber fell into the water and, and it created mist. Um, I'm thinking here. So the idea is when I create this pump stack or this screw pump, it it takes a lot of water. Um, I don't know if it depends on like, because I'm going to be using a windmill. Let's actually do that first. I'm going to be using a windmill to power it. That way we don't have a dwarf uh, manually doing this. That would be awful. So let's first create a windmill. I want to see if there's wind even here. So they're going to create that. And what I'm going to be doing is creating a screw pump. It's going to pump some water. The speed of it, I want to slow it down. And the way you slow it down is by building... Um, Building in such a way where the water goes diagonally. So if there's something in the way, it'll go diagonal, which slows it down. And I want to slow down. It looks like we have, yep, so 40, perfect. So let's get rid of that. So you do want to make sure your map has wind. Uh, otherwise, the other options you have is having a manual uh, labor. So a dwarf coming over here and doing this uh, pump himself. Otherwise, you can do a water wheel, uh, which I might show in a different video. Uh, but that turns with, you know, water flowing and you have to connect it with pipes and such um, and get it working that way. But the windmill is probably the easiest, in my opinion. All right. So what I want to do is create this in a way to slow down the water. So we're actually going to make the screw pump over here. And again, we want it flowing up towards this way. So I probably didn't need to cut that tree, but that's okay. So we're gonna create it here. What do I need? Oh, the pipe section. I guess I should have checked that. Uh, so the pipes can be made out of wood. Um, let's do pipe. Let's build two just in case I need two pump stacks or screw pumps, which I doubt I do. So someone's gonna get on that, yep. In the meantime, let's see if we can create some more grates here. Yeah, that should be the last one. Cool. That's looking good. So we don't need to be down here anymore. Um, let's create a wall. You don't want water spurring out of the access here. Oops, I don't want to use closest. For walls, I definitely suggest picking what material you make it out of. Because if they grab the material on this side and build the wall, they're going to be trapped here. And I don't think you want that. So let's make it out of the blocks so we know it's coming from above. Great, so he's doing that. We've got our floor grates here. Cool. So let's see if our thing is done. Should be. Yeah, this should work just fine. Yeah, cool. So let's do that. We're going to do that and a pipe. All right, so the water is on this level. You know, it's one deep. So when it pumps it, it's going to be on this level, which is great. I need it to flow over here. So what we're going to do is create some walls. So that it also has to go diagonal, like I was saying. So uh, the first one we're going to make, so we're going to go, we're going to make an outline here. Great. They can help us build. Um, yeah, we're going to do that. I'm going to make sure we select the blocks. Oh, starting the wrong area here. We're going to go all this, go all the way out here. Again, do all the blocks. All blocks. Ooh, I'm actually thinking, eh, whatever. We're going to just do this for now. 
already know that I'm setting this up not the best way. But that's okay. All right, so that's generally what it's going to do. If I leave it like this, the water is going to flow ex insanely fast and will dr start drowning everybody because the well down here will fill up and it will start just creating chaos. We don't want that to happen. I want it to slow down so it gives it enough time to flow out of our fortress. So to do that, we're actually going to cancel some of this stuff. But first, let's make the walls. Um, so it's going to go to this square. So it's going to be the first square out. And then I'm going to force it to go in a diagonal here. So we're going to make a wall there. I'm going to do another one. Yeah, this should be fine. It's basically going to go every other. Yeah, this should work fine. And so to make a diagonal, we do need to get rid of these guys here. So it's going to go here, here. That's fine. So we can actually get rid of this thing. And this guy. I'm sure this isn't making sense yet, but I'll show you. And then we need to make more walls. So this tree, we actually need to get rid of it. So we're going to do a wall here. We're going to build one here as soon as the tree is done. So it's going to go here. This is cancel right now. Okay. So we're looking good so far. Oh, missing one spot. Okay. So as soon as this gets uh, destroyed here, what's going to happen? Actually, I think I'm going to leave this open and be that'll be the last wall piece I make. So essentially the water is going to flow here. It's going to get cut in half. Um, and then it's going to go here going to get cut in half, cut in half, and it'll basically just kind of uh, flow through here, slowing down so that way it's not terribly fast by the time it gets here. Cannot reach sight. Something... So far it looks like everybody has access to things. Here, let's do that. So far, it's looking good. All right, so while they're doing that, so as soon as you build a windmill here to power this guy up, it starts ASAP. Um, now, I did build a floodgate, so the reason I was building a floodgate, and I kind of forgot about it, is we, you can build them so that way they're stopping the water from flowing. Like, if you wanted to just keep the water in here. So, I'm actually not going to show that. That's more for, like, hospitals and stuff, if you have, like, a well. Um, I guess if there's an emergency, but I will show that in a different video. So, I apologize, but we shouldn't have to use one here. So, it's all built. Let's create the last wall here. Uh, right here. And I, I see that I'm missing a section. We want one right here as well. Because water can also go diagonal, as you can tell. You know, dwarves, everybody can go diagonal. So we're going to wait on that, and then we will build our windmill. 
And I believe the windmill piece has to be connected to the left and right of these sides here. So great. So that's looking good. I think this should work. Windmill. Yeah, you can go on either side. Um, at least I think. It might only go on the left side there. So let's see. Let's do it right here. It can be in the water. It just overhangs. Pretty nice. Okay, so it's flowing. We can see that it's uh, pumping. Let's turn this on so we can see how deep it is. Now, this won't overflow. This will only get to max seven. Uh, the pump screw will not overflow, at least from my experience. So as we can see, it looks like this is getting blocked, which is fine. What is a dusting of mud, willow fruit, muddy oats? Hmm. No, they're showing water there. It's just there's so much stuff there that you can't see it. Um, okay, so let's go down. Let's make sure this is working so we can see the mist happening. And that's going to give us uh, nice thoughts. So the water's coming out, and it's going to start draining. Now, one thing, this water might come up a little bit. Um, in one of my uh, demos of this, at least trying on my own, that's what happened. But so far, it's not getting very deep. Oh, I take that back. It's getting deep. But it seems to mellow out once this hits over here. Yeah, so this is fine. This is pretty typical. You're going to get a little bit of water here. If it starts gushing out to getting like two and three, then that's bad. We don't want that. But we want it to get to the end here. Yep, so far, not a bad, not bad. There we go. So now it's draining. And then this isn't getting any higher. There we go. And that is how we create our mist generator. So as you can see, as they're walking down these stairs, they will be getting hit by it. So you can see here, relieved being near a waterfall. Um, I don't know if there's anything else here. But these dwarves, their moods will increase immensely. So I highly suggest having one of these somewhere. Um, it's not like a requirement by any means, but if you have trouble, uh, being fine or getting your dwarves to be in positive thoughts, this might be your remedy to doing so. And this will evaporate. So we have no problem there. Uh, but yeah, everybody should be, um, getting happy thoughts on that. If they've been going through there, can't tell whose else is going through here. This guy was. Yep, content being near a waterfall. So um, that will always be going. Yeah, all right. Well, um, if there's any other guides that you guys want me to make specifically, let me know. Otherwise, I do have my casual guide for Door Fortress happening. Take a look if that's something you're interested in. It's just a casual way of playing Door Fortress, so that way you get your feet wet. You have a good understanding of the systems. And that way, if you want a more challenging experience, you will have that foundation ready to go for your next embark. So take a look. Otherwise, let me know down in the comments, any questions, concerns, that kind of thing. Um, I like making videos like this, so please let me know. If you just want to talk about Door Fortress or anything, feel free. Um, I pay attention to all the comments so far. So thank you so much for... Uh, you know, watching this video. As always, this is Nathan. Thank you for joining me on this adventure. I'll see you.